Praise the Lord. My name is Carlota Hill. I'm from uh, Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. I belong to the uh, Revival Fellowship, the Seattle Revival Fellowship. I want to give my testimony because um, November 28th was my birthday, my spiritual birthday. Birthday. I got baptized on the water, and in December 8th, I got spirit feel. Um, uh, yeah, I got spirit feel with the Evans speaking in tongues. Um, that was 28 years ago. So I've been thinking a lot about my testimony, and it's been it's been a long, it's been 28 years. Um, so I have a couple of healing testimonies that were amazing. Um, I remember this one day I have I suffered from asthma for many many years, and it was this one particular day that my husband was at work. The kids were really small. Um, I didn't have a place, to, I, mean, I didn't want to go to the doctor, to the um, emergency room, and it was Sunday. So I remember calling the whole, I mean, this is a long time ago when the whole had phones. <laughs> I remember calling the whole, and I remember talking to Pastor Dave, and I explained, because everybody was in church, so I didn't have anybody who come and take care of the kids, because we don't have any family, except the people in the fellowship. So I remember calling him and, um, and he prayed through the through the phone um, and I can feel my lungs open up and I can feel the God healing my my asthma. And that was an amazing testimony. And then fast forward another 10, 15 years, um, Fresno have a very bad air uh, quality and this particular Day was a really bad day. I mean, it was gray, and and we were in downtown with all the saints um, preaching the gospel. And I remember sitting in a in a bench and in a house we we watch a lot of sports. So I remember thinking, I don't want to. I didn't came here to be in the bench. Put me in the game coach. Put me in the game coach. That was all I can say, because asthma. You, like your oxy, oxygen level go lower and you just go dim it and dim it and dim it. And that was the only thing I could say is, coach, I'm here, send me, send me, send me the game, put me in the game. And of course the saints were around me and that they pray about. And, and again, I can feel the, how God just opened my lungs and make my vision clear. And it was just an amazing testimony. Um, I did have a lot of emotional healings. Uh, obviously, I came from a bad marriage, so that was the first healing. My husband, um, my ex-husband, was really. It was a lot of abusive, ab abusive. It was very toxic both ways. It usually takes two to tango, so I was very toxic as well. So that kind of healed that, and then um, long, uh, not too long ago, um, God healed my relationship with my dad. And I, I figured it out that a lot of my um, my insecurities, I always felt like I wasn't good enough, like I wasn't, uh, that I really didn't click with anybody. And um, pray, I pray about one day I was crying to the Lord and I figured out what all that is. I know that sounds kind of corny, but the base with my relationship with my dad, my dad didn't, didn't want it, a daughter, he just wanted, wanted a boy. So he didn't want to treat me with the love you know, he was like oh, another girl. But anyway, so God healed me that, healed my relationship. My dad's been dead for almost 20 years, well, 10 years. So uh, that was an amazing healing. And it was almost like a point, a different point. My 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 walk completely changed in that point. Um, but all the testimonies, I have so many testimonies in 28 years. This one that's always so remar remarkable for me is the fact that I read my Bible, and everybody reads the Bible, and everybody have a system to read the Bible, right? Nobody is not a good or bad, but I'm a little OCD, OCD, and I like to start from one and finish, start with Genesis and finish with Revelation. I never jump from one side to another. You know, I have a plan and I have to follow it. And um, the amazing thing is no matter what I'm reading, if it's Leviticus or Judges or one of the prophets of the New Testament, no matter what what I'm reading, God always ministered to me. I've been some serious trials, especially in the past two, three months, two or three years. They were really hard. And I was always reading and God always managed to minister to me through the Bible, to whatever I was reading. It wasn't like I 
like some people say, oh, go for healing and get this, get these, um, these scriptures. No, God always ministered to me. Uh, at the end of the day, that is the miracle, the most powerful miracle is the fact that we have fellowship, we have communion with the maker and, and no matter what we're doing, God is always there to help us and to minister and to, and we can have fellowship through prayer, through prayer, to talking to him through, you know, many, many ways to communicate with them. And I'm very, very happy, excited to be here. I know it's a great revival coming. You know, you have to do is read the news to see. And um, we just need to be ready because great revival is coming. Amen.